Welcome everybody to this series Quick Math Stuff. In this first episode, we will focus in some details on the integral. So, problem determine the sign of the following integrals without evaluating them. The first integral and the second. Let's motivate this trick by the following elementary example. We will pose the same question for this integral. So here, if we represent the function, we have, we will have this minus 1. Here 2. It will be here 8. So, we can, we can say that the integral will be positive. As computing the algebraic area. So here the, the trick is simply to do or to observe that the x plus 1 to x cubed dx. Because the function is odd, this integral is 0 and this integral is positive because that the function x cubed is positive in the interval 1, 2. Please take a few moments to answer those questions. Okay, now first observe that cosinus cosine is positive in the interval 0 pi over 2 and it's negative on over pi over 2 pi. So, we take this form 0 pi over 2 x cos x the x plus pi over 2 chasley pi x cos x dx now how to transform the interval pi over 2 pi into the interval 0 pi over 2 the easy stuff is to consider the variable the following variable change we take x equals pi or uh, here t equals pi minus x so this second integral because this is positive no problem now this integral became pi over 2 0 and now x is equals pi minus t cos sine minus cos t and minus dx equals dt so dt now the final calculation will be the integral 0 pi x cos x dx will be equals sum the 0 t cos t the first one 0 pi over 2 dt minus minus to change the order of the bounds pi over 2 pi minus t cos t finally this is equals 0 pi over 2 and quickly one find 2t cos t minus p cos t which we can write in the following shortened form now the problem is solved this quantity is positive because we have t in the interval 0 pi over 2 and in the same time cos t is positive so this integral will be positive okay now we will we will see the second integral we 
we do this following 0 pi sin x over x dx plus pi 2 pi x over x dx we transform this integral in a way in that way that we transform p2 pi into the interval 0 pi the easy stuff is to do the following variable change so we take x equals pi plus t so we will have this integral will become sine pi plus t pi plus t dt and the bounds becomes 0 pi now this is simply minus 0 pi sine t over pi plus t dt and finally the whole integral pi sine x over x dx will be equal to 0 pi after finishing the computation sine t over t times plus pi plus t dt and now all this expression is positive in the interval 0 pi so the integral will be positive thank you for watching and see you with other and varied math quick math stuff thank you very much